Um, I would like to make a bit of a correction. I was a little early to jump the gun. It turns out Mr. Matthew will indeed be joining us for the finale of Banjo Tui. Let's all give him a good round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Hi. Turns yeah, out he was here the whole time. Thank you. Yeah. Hi. Yes. Yeah, go pack. Thank you. I I'm looking forward to New Mutants to movie because Dark Phoenix is shit. And the director of New so Mutants thinks so too. But oh, there's okay. no instructions. What are we gonna do? No problem. I'll just uh, press a few buttons and. Uh, there are only what two buttons. <gasps> no. Oh. Oh. oh uh, yeah, I almost thought he was gonna get stuck again and destroy the world. Uh oh. Well, luckily she hit the right button. Yeah, that should do it. She went from yeah, she went from suck to blow. <laughs> yes, they That's, still there are only Mega two Mega She's gone from suck to, to blow. Blow. Oh. I, I wonder what will hit blow. down there. Yeah, maybe we should have aimed this better. Yeah. Nah, it's good. It's fine. It's I'm magic. Sure. It's okay. I'm sure this, I'm sure this won't cause any casualties. You yeah, know. It just, it just lands on someone who's already alive. They're like, ah! And it just explodes. <laughs> Unlimited I'm power! Unlimited power! I believe you owe me an apology, dumb jars. Not a chance. I love you too. Oh, I would love the idea of, like, not a chance and j Oh, hey, we saved oh, jingling, right. jingling, 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 jingling. Thanks, guys. No, that's not as fun as a zombie. I forget who voiced him. That was, that was you. Yeah, that was you. It was me. Thank you for Man. making him... Thank you for making him apparently, uh... Oh, uh, what was next then, Kazooie? Oh, He's shit, been lifeless for name. quite a while. It's been so over I a year. I think you'd better turn it up to full power! I think we gave up all the juice already. Not until Soldier Boy apologizes, by the way. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> dun, dun, Thank dun. you. It's, it's uh, kind of hey, like, hey. Hey. like when my sister apologizes. Wait a minute. Uh, That's you guys are gonna that miss. Looks like, that looks like DK Island. That looks was, like... Uh, wait, what? And I, and I was gonna say, someone... it looks like he was a... Oh, oh yeah, you're right. And I was gonna say, I almost thought they were gonna miss and just hit his right arm. Yeah. <laughs> and that's right how Donkey alive, Kong 64 it's... got the bad. <laughs> and we have Get back in there. and we have revived Ooh. bottle Zizar. Hooray! Yay! The oh, mold, models, the I Mickey missed is him. Back. Oh, Look at the time. I'm really late for the Mickey shorts. Mrs. Oh, B will no. kill me. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I was saying, Mrs. B will kill me! And, and Kazoo would be like, everybody gets one. Uh oh. Uh, oh, look. Uh, He's enjoying a din din. The fish! Oh. Oh. Oh, that's you. You're still eating it. Uh, I don't oh, care right. how virgin it is, you're still eating it. It's not my fault. <laughs> the witch killed me, and I've only just come back to life. Oh, you God, that's, that is the fucking. That is the fish. Oh, God. Yes, yeah. I'm sure you have, dear. Oh well. To be fair, we never oh. did, we never did tell oh, the truth. Oh. And oh, oh, hey, jingle like it. Oh, no. what the goodness? Who might you two be? Wait, you mean you two? You know, wait, what? All oh, the fuck. Yo, I'm King Jingle. Yeah, no, you guys. No, no, back up. Yo, King Jingling. You remember I played dodgeball with you guys? That like, was and we talked. Very uh, was free clungo from evil clutches of mistress. By bashing me a good few. They saved me as an attorney as one of the horrible und of the damned. So we can't come round to celebrate. Sounds good to me. You know, in hindsight, it really does put into perspective his whole thing in nuts and bolts. I'll make us yeah. some nice scones. Yeah, he just wants a nice, peaceful life, and the fish is like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, where's Banjo? He's the real hero. Also, why the hell did you keep the eyes in the fish? So brave bear and bird going after her. They'll join us later. Now let's party! Boing. No joke, I kinda imagine King Jingling to be voiced by Coolio. Oh god, Coolio. <laughs> so yeah. this must be the end now. We've had the credits and everyone's alright again. What about Crunchy? Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, oh! That's right. I think we ought to just take a quick look at the top of I, the I tower. Have... I like how literally he doesn't say, oh, right, it's just, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice oh. try, Banjo, but I reckon that opening below the gun over there probably leads up. So, yeah, I gotta say, once I we get to the... I was hoping you hadn't seen that. 
just I no longer want to be a hero. Yo, he just wants to go home. Oh, hey, Dave. Oh, oh, hey, Big I forgot about you. I think Who's... I voiced this guy? No, I voiced him. Okay. Why, hello uh, there, Mr. Banjo. I'm Dinpot. Remember me? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I helped you at the end of Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, oh, yeah. Us up. So it's Dinpot. Hmm, you're so cruel. But hey, why not jump inside yeah, for a nice dingy bonus? No, <laughs> sweet. I've just... only just got my feather screen from last time. Can we just all admit that Kazooie is a bitch? Like, head. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I mean, that's, 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 that's the endearing character trait. Anyway, by doing this, uh, we get full stock. Oh, nice. Um, okay, I thought he was just. I thought that he was just gonna launch us all the way to the top again. Into the <laughs> ceiling, just bam, <laughs> just fall right back I, down. Hold on, this I time. Can't... I kind of like the beat there that Whoa. started. It's like. Oh. <laughs> I can see oh, that. But yes. Believe it or not, this is actually oh, my first time it. seeing the final boss of this game. Oh. Yep, this is it. Uh, so I'm going to say right now, um, the final boss is really nothing too crazy. Uh, you'll, be able to, you'll be able to get the strategy, really, once we start it. And... Oh, wait, <laughs> where's the go final on. boss? Wow, that's one heck of a view from up here. Sure is, but doesn't it seem strange that Gruntilla isn't up here to meet us? Yeah, we gave her a head start. Obviously, right? chicken now. <laughs> I've enjoyed our little adventure, but uh, let's get back to the uh, the card game. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Remember, that? Remember that? We started last it's year. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Want... It's true. Money still on the table. She is. Uh, uh, oh. 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 Yeah, that's where she is. Oops. She's yeah. probably in the hag one. Kazooie, do you got a bit of a stingy feeling on your back? Monstrous mechanical mud monster. <laughs> or or an acro or an acronym terms the mm. Oh, mm. look at the size of that. I'm sure it wasn't that big before. Not in the cutscenes anyway. How could we have missed it? We're lazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because we don't know lazy. how to turn around. And of course, who else would be behind the wheel? Grunty. Finally, uh, after two years, revenge time. Don't oh, on that phone brain. We'll see, little bird. We'll see. But so, with that out of the way, with the laser button go. Darn it! Someone passed the manual for this thing. Ah, yes. Here we go. So, have fun. So, honestly, the path. Honestly, the whole point of this is that you're gonna have to dodge uh, effects, and you have to. You can't damage this thing directly. You have to either attack from within or shoot at Grunty. Oh. And she's going to give us one last fair shot. Thought the quiz was over, did you? Uh, Think again, because apparently this is a good idea to do during a fight. Are you basically, fucking joking me? <laughs> basically, what, basically what happens is if I get this question right, she'll go easy on me and throw spells slower. And we need 70. Gee, and if you get I wrong, wonder. She'll throw spells faster. Drag, which that's is correct. I'll only use my slower attack, cause, which you know that's perfectly logical for me to do. Yeah, I was gonna say. Okay, I was on, say on, honestly, okay, she got rid of the rhyming scheme. She has to have yeah, some did. kind of gimmick. Yes, but also okay. And then you have to shoot at her in this mode. I think she took a uh, little case of a stupid, don't you think, Banjo? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm I'm gonna talk over really? the rest of this fight, and I'm gonna. Genius. I'm gonna talk over this. I'm gonna talk over the rest of this fight and That's allow fine. everybody, because because also since there was since we kind of already had our credits, this is our best chance to get everyone's opinions about it. I'm gonna say that yes, I agree with one wiki post I was reading where comparing between the final boss of the first game and this game, this one feels so far. This one feels far less logical. Like the first one, I loved because it's like first she attacks you, first she fights you like on the ground, then she's like, oh crap, he can hit me, so I'm gonna fly far away on my room, but then you can start hitting her from ranged attacks, so then she started, okay, I'm gonna go above you, and then that's when you, the idea is that I loved how that battle progressed, and that you and her were both going, like, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, her thinking she's got you cornered, but then you pull out another move she never planned for, kind of thing. Yeah. Here, she's freaking, like, going, giving, she's practically bending over backwards to get, to basically give you a shot at actually beating her. Okay. When she, when well, at this point, she really has no reason why she shouldn't just be unloading that thing at us. All right, Logan? Yeah. I am going yes, to, unfortunately, uh, explain why. This game was given literally Ta -da. just a year and a half to develop. The, huh. the, the mortars only attack on the ground, so if you just 
if you just if you just like backflip the... on top of her Wait a minute. Into... So the explosion ah, well, effect doesn't come from ground. top down. It no, only it just, they just spawn. It just spawns on the ground. So it's like yeah. the so... boxing gloves during the Mr. Patch fight. Kinda yeah. Uh, oh okay. So with that said, Fuck. James, what are your thoughts on this game? I thought I already gave us thoughts. I mean, oh, I'll just say it again for the sake of that. Just I mean, I do still. I'll still give them kudos for trying to take take the ser series in a slightly different direction from before, in the fact that they wanted to make it bigger and grander and a little more personal. At the same time, though, um, I do think, I, I, much like Donkey Kong, I like how they don't even have a hitbox. They don't. They Until don't they hit the ground, game. they don't. Yeah, yeah a blessing in disguise, too. really. But um, anyway, while Jake, well, um, Renzi gives out a little question here, uh, just yeah, I did, much like Donkey Kong 64 before. There were definitely some ideas that didn't quite translate well into the package, and I mean, at the very least, it's not like a huge ass collectathon, but it's still a very big time sink. And that's yeah. probably the game's biggest fault, especially when things start getting really repetitive. Probably. Uh, hi, what did you think about this? Whole and, uh, and actually, and, and I'll say, and I'll say one last thing before before moving on. I just, I, I still hold the sentiment that Kazooie is the far more enjoyable experience, just for just for being a more concise experience. That's fair. Uh, Hype, what did you think of all this? Honestly, like, even though James hit a lot of the points I was going to say, I'll just go ahead and say them anyway, you know, just so that I feel like I actually have more to say than just two things. Um, I appreciate a lot of what Tui tried to do. Like, I get the feeling that, like, Tui was trying to, like, be more than a Mario 64 clone. It wanted to try and be its own beast, have its own identity and whatnot. And I appreciate that. And there are a few things that it did that I think were for the better, like having a more robust move set and like a lot of the areas and challenges and whatnot, like I, I appreciate a lot of the things it tried to do to make it be its own game. That being said, I feel like in the process it sacrificed a lot of the charm that the first game had and I don't find a lot of it as particularly, you know, interesting or engaging or enthralling as in the first game. And it's like I know the first game is just kind of just like a basic Mario 64 clone, but I thought it had enough personality with the characters and environments and whatnot to where I felt like it could stand on its own perfectly fine, whereas this one, it basically, it gambled that, but I think for what it got, it lost a little bit more to a point where, yeah, I kind of agree with James, I kind of think that the first game seems a little bit more enjoyable in my eyes. Yeah. Uh, Icky, what did you think of, the, of our whole little romp? Um, admittedly, uh -oh. going back to this after so you know after years of not playing this game and not even oh. finishing oh. it, let oh, that be thing, you know let that be an establishing thing. Right. But um, I'm honest to God, kind of reminded of my experience with the Jack and Daxter series because I only played uh -huh. two out of like the what there was one three. two three X um. And Lost Frontier. Frontier. Right. Like the, 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 yeah, those games. Um, I played the first one. I really enjoyed the first one because I was already used to Mario 64. And I was already, you know, I had a pretty fair understanding of the whole collectathon genre as being fairly straightforward and being, you know, a lot less Go intensive away. compared to other games at the time. <laughs> But then came along the age of Jack 2, and Don't they decided to try and change the tone from some magical journey across the land into something more yeah, grimdark, something more GTA-like. I will say to Tui's credit, I don't think the tone whiplash is quite as blatant as it is from Jack 1 to 2. Well, no, That's it's fair. not It's not as... <sighs> How do I describe this? It's not as, quote... I'm gonna kill Praxis! Um, yeah. it's less so that, like, the characters are the same. Banjo and Kazooie are still their snide, chatty, happy, bappy, colorful selves. As, happy and snarky mm -hmm. selves. Yeah. Plus the NPCs they come across, and, like, the character Minions. designs overall are... Oh, yeah. It, like, it's the same thing that you expect from the first game, except then you get realistic designs like in Pterodactyl Land, like fucking Terry of Pterodactyl and uh, oh, the, right. the what was it, the, the minigame dinosaur with the extremely long neck oh yeah, like, Chompasaurus and I just have to think, were they kind of getting bored at this point in time in development? I mean, 
considering the fact that they, they that they've had like a whole bunch of other projects under their belt, I wouldn't be surprised if there was some burnout during the end of development in this oh, game. Oh, and la oh, and for our last phase, you have to be very quick because she has toxic mustard gas. Oh, oh god damn it! Oh, no. Cyanide and mustard gas. Yes. Cyanide sure? and mustard gas. Are you That's sure? uh, yes. it looks like purple what juice gas. What a combination! Gas. Be very careful and move. Yeah, it looks like grape juice more so than cyanide or mustard. Actually, since Icky brought up, since Icky was talking about like that comparison, uh, that actually brings me to another thing that I don't know if any of us brought up, but I think is kind of like one of the main factors as to why I personally prefer Kazooie over Tui. The way they handled Grundy and Grunty in that Grundy, Solomon <laughs> uh, Grunty. Grunty but anyway, it's, it's it's easy to make that mistake anyway. Right. But yeah, anyway, the the way that they handled Grunty in this game, like. I get why they did it. I honestly find her to be a lot less engaging and interesting here than she was in the first Cause game. Because she's not she constantly talk. getting under your skin or making right, herself yeah, known. It's yeah. weird because it's weird because uh -huh. like they had they had they had a strong idea at first, but then right after right after that scene where they sucked sucked all of Jing, Jingling's um life, that was pretty much it. Winky Bunyan. It, 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 oh yeah, her last name is Winky Bunyan. Uh, we knew this oh, yeah. from the first game. Yeah, of course thing. not. But don't you go telling anyone, or I'll sue you. <laughs> <laughs> sue us for what? Whatever you say, Winky. Uh, I don't know. You what. sue? I will sue you for making me a Jesus Christ! Sorry, those one-hit kills. No. no, no, they they do damage. I just need to do one more damage. Sorry, hype, and then we'll get right to it. Just get some help. Just amana, 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 amana. Straight, straight, and get one more hit. Just get one hit on her. Some help. Just save As you. a reminder, folks, Winky Bunyan is literally is literally slang for dick butt. Ew. Yep. Oh. And ha, ah, she dropped it. Oh no. And yes, and yes, if you die right there, you have to start the whole boss battle from the beginning. Finish what you're Don't saying, Steve, so I can finish what I'm Go ahead, saying, please. Yeah, right. just that whole thing of like, I'll sue you. It's like, I'll sue you for making me feel uncomfortable. And in this day and age, I can actually get away with that. Yeah, she'd win. I, just, I don't know why, I, but the whole suit line just reminds me of, um, I'm sorry, I'm going to read over this. The whole suit line just reminds me of, um, the one. Was it uh, that one scene from that terrible uh, Hulk Hogan movie? Where it's like, uh, do you know what we're going to do to you? What? You're going to gut me, shoot me, kill me, roast me? What? No, this is the '90s, man. We're gonna sh we're gonna sue your ass. Wait, oh, is this? We, hey, we made it. Is this we made it to the celebration party? Critic uh, reviewed dude, back when was yeah, really yeah. halfway yeah. decent. Yeah. For all the kids? Really? Yes. Oh my god. Do the party. Terrible movie, but that one line was actually funny. What are we doing the party? Oh, Laura. It's finished. Lardy's right. Pizza. I can't go sure I was hungry. He's eating everything in the house. Oh wow. no. Well, so Maybe much for that happy ending. And not the cake. To... Dang it. Big heat bunk. Oh, was that cake or it's jelly? Oh, your it was cake. It's all your fault, poor brain. You should have dealt with the bony crew quicker. What's sucking at you, fucking mole? <laughs> I was hiding my cells like a coward. Jesus. She does have a point. Why are you feathered? <laughs> yeah, all Useless just... wamba head and wigwam too. Shut up, or Wumba turns stupid shaman into a frog. Well, yeah. Oh, Would yeah. not be first time. Me summon gold statue to kick ugly Wumba's butt. Well, this got um. Stop it! Get a room, everyone! Not in my house! In front of the kids! Zoe's got a better idea. What? <laughs> yeah! Does anyone fancy a kick around? Like with a hacky sack? Yeah, I mean, like, literally kick. <laughs> well, wait, wait, what's it? Wait, what's kind of a kick around? What? Follow us and find out. <laughs> and here is the big finale. Party big of banjos. No, well, party we of banjos. House burnt down. We found a better penthouse. All the By way By the way, I have a question. In. Whatever happened to Tootie? Yeah, I was just about to ask. Oh, what? She what? what did well, happen yeah. to Tootie? There's the kick around. Oh god! Yep. By the way, Mumbo getting you... kicked out of this. That's dark. <laughs> yeah. By the way, a fun fact: in the Japanese version of this game, instead of her head, it's just a purple sack. Yeah. Because they can't have beheadings and stuff. Well, no, I, I think mean, it was around the... the time where the uh, the uh, the local yakuza was getting Pass a little bit. Me. 
Like there I was like I... this mass murderer going on, like chopping off he like the heads and shoes of their victims. Uh oh, okay. It's why they okay. actually censored Ooh, one of the. I think her eyes just fell out. It's why That's they censored one of the uh, death oh, it animations flying. in Crash Three. You'll be sorry, all of you. Just you wait until I can't even say that with a straight face. Why? Goodbye, I Captain was Wolverine. in this game too. <laughs> 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 well, yes, got that, but that's the end of the game. Not on a wave racer, but on a UFO. And again, wow. there there was a three E. There was the potential for a three E. Maybe we'll get I don't know. Maybe they'll do a Crash Bank. Maybe we'll get a three E. But yeah, okay. We need to go around the room still a little bit more. Icky said his thing. I think yeah. I think that I think I said my thing. Uh, actually, I was gonna have Celie go next since she was here for a little more. But uh, Celie, did you have any like takeaways from this or anything that you wanted to say about it? Well, since I was in and out for a lot of Banjo Tooie, I'm not. I don't really have as much of of an opinion. I can't talk. Of an opinion <laughs> Neither can as, I. Don't worry. As everybody else, but mm -hmm. if given the opportunity, I'd like to. I would like to play the game for myself. Alrighty. And I mean, I, yeah. I recommend that you could at least try this game. But if you don't like it as much as the first game, then that's totally acceptable. Which, is an, which I will yeah, also say... But I have, I have no Banjo-Kazooie experience whatsoever. So. I, was, I was about to say, though, if you are planning on giving this game a shot, don't do it before you... Don't pl play this before starting Banjo-Kazooie, because otherwise well, you, it would be kind of awkward. Yeah, mm -hmm. play Banjo 1 first. Because yep. it's like got one in the name. Otherwise... Right. Well, yeah, I mean, nothing says you can't play this, but some of the impact will be lost. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not to mention, just between the two, I think Banjo-Kazooie, for all of its Mario 64-ness, is a much more accessible game. Right. It's less so, long in the tooth compared to this. Right. And then, uh, yeah. Matt, your, so Matt, your thoughts on Tui, since you know you played the first one, but anything that you were... Did, did, what did you think of this? Uh, so yeah, I never played Tui. But I, I grew up with Banjo and Kazooie. It was one of the first games I ever played. Um, it was just amazing. And yeah, the first one is just fantastic. I love playing it. My sister and I both love playing it. Um, but I do want to try Tui eventually because I have heard, I, yes, I've heard what you all said. That it, there are negative points. It is not as good as the first one, but that doesn't mean it's bad doesn't mean it's a no. terrible game just because something is lesser than the first one doesn't mean it's terrible exactly uh, right yeah and uh basically from what i'm gathering your completionist rating is finish it <laughs> that yeah that's about it yeah no i, um, I see yeah I, I... yeah i grew up mm. with it i love it and yeah i do hope that there is that there is a revival or something for the franchise honestly considering yeah, the magic it did no, no, considering the magic that occurred when Banjo-Kazooie came to Smash Brothers and it actually managed to sell some Xbox units in Japan, of all places, <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. I think they can learn something sign. from that. I'm and hoping that's their right. sign of... The, I'm hoping that's their sign of that's what people want. Actually, I wouldn't even really think Sakurai. I just think the, I just think Nintendo and Xbox were... Nintendo and Microsoft were somehow having a symbiotic like relationship joined yeah. at the waist well, but i do like that i like that perhaps in the next couple in this next decade we'll start seeing people where the companies aren't like competing all the time but they're trying to like because i mean they have to understand the idea like yeah they pool together their ideas that's how they can rake in big dope yeah big support big cool ideas that's why i love the idea of smash brothers so much that's why i'm that's why i'm hopeful to see what can come with it but yeah so until then, I don't know nuts and bolts. I don't want to play nuts and bolts. Nobody wants to That's play nuts and fair. bolts. I mean, I would honestly be up for recording a look out of nuts and bolts if it weren't for the fact yeah. that um, I don't have an Xbox One to play it on. Yeah, the one that I and used honestly, to record the first I game. Just, go ahead. I was just about to say, just saying it one last time because I know for a fact it'll be a while before we get to it. But just to reiterate. Nuts and Bolts is a perfectly fine game in and of itself. It's just not a good sequel. Or actually, yeah. uh, no, no, it it's not a good Banjo Kazooie game. It's a good. Well, that's what I mean when I say sequel. Yeah. Well, yeah, it just um, yeah, no, it's just honestly, if there was ever a point where we do do a look out of the game, because I would never dedicate a full playthrough to that game. 
But if there was a time we had, if we showed it off in any capacity, I think we'll get our points across about the game further with with that. But until yeah. then, honestly, there's not much else we can really do with old, with old Banjo. We pretty we've played the first game, we played this game, we shown off a bit of Grunty's Revenge, and there was actually one other smaller project we'll show and do a look at of in the not too distant future. Alrighty. Alright. Then yeah. Until then. I still am. I, I I had fun, and I do enjoy this yeah. game. Just yeah, it's definitely the kind of game where you definitely need to like, kind of, buckle up and hunker down a bit more. It's not as quick and like immediate as Banjo Kazooie was. Pick up and play kind of thing. Like, also for those and, I'll, and for those of you that were a little saddened to not see Logan take a chance at chance with a uh, Canary Mary up in the sky, well, tough luck. All right. Basically do the exact same thing I did in the gold. Just don't push it too fast unless you rubber bands yet. And also for those who got to enjoy the, 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 the experience of watching us live our lives for almost a year and a half while playing this game and seeing all of our right emotions. Sorry for like, how incredibly dated this is going to sound by the time you reach this. Probably. That's the best part. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this time capsule of a commentary. And uh, as always, see you guys if I had the choice between Canary Mary and Banjo Kazooie, <laughs> uh, I'd are, are, are pick the seasick crocodile. Go That's up. it. We left. We joined Microsoft for this. <laughs>